Okay, now this piece has to come out. So you have to take these screws out. Okay, now this is really small. If you lift up this, you can see it right here. This is the opposite side of the BIOS chip. Now, it's going to be right over here. C318, C307. Now if you look closely, right above the zero, there's a small hole over there. And then to the right of it, to the upper right, there's another hole. Now the one right above the zero is the SDA, and the one right above it, to the right, is the SCL. Really small. I'm going to show you with the magnifying glass. The short. This one and the one to the left of it. So these two have to be held together. Okay, so it's fixed. Now this is quite difficult. What you have to do is you have to lift up the motherboard because the BIOS chip is all the way on the bottom right here. I'm going to point it out to you. It's this chip right here. You see the two pins you have to touch them with a screwdriver or a tweezer. I used a tweezer. It worked. I tried a few other devices and I couldn't get it to work but the tweezer did the job. I kept rebooting it several times and eventually I got into the BIOS setup utility as you see here. I kept getting the lock screen and eventually I got to the setup utility and I disabled the password. So let me just show you where it is again right here. You have to touch those two pins right over there. These two pins, see this black chip right there? The two pins to the right. The right two pins have to be touched together and just pinch the tweezer together. And the trick is, you have to hold it together. You have to hold it together, the two pins. And as you're holding it together, you've got to press the F1 on the keyboard. And then, you're going to see the error screen come up. And then after the error screen come up, this screen should pop up and it should bypass the lock. Now, there's more work to do because as you get into the buyer setup utility, you actually have to change the password, disable the BIOS lock password, and at the same time you have to continue to hold this down because if you let this go, the screen is going to turn white. So if it turns white, you've got to start all over again. It's very tricky because it's difficult. You only have two hands. You have to hold this down at the same time. You have to plug that power supply in. So you first have to plug the power supply in as you're holding the tweezers and at the same time you have to push the power button. Now I was able to use this power button on the screen. This is the touchpad model so I'm able to use this power button rather than use the power button on the keyboard because it's too difficult to access. And eventually I got it to work. Now this is also very important. As you're doing this the screen has to turn on because you have to see what you're doing. So if you disconnect the motherboard from the display then you're not going to get any vision. So this right here is a display cable. You can see it coming through here and you have this board that connects the display cable to the motherboard. Now this is clipped in. It's clipped into the motherboard so you have to physically lift up the motherboard and make sure the clip doesn't pop off. So this is the problem I've been having. As I was trying to lift up the motherboard this came out and then the screen went off. So that's another issue. You have to find a way to keep this together as you're doing this. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments. Please like up this video and thank you for tuning in.